Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. And we are now back here in the Lower City, because we have to explore a little bit further here. There's a standard door that I... Ah, I was actually unsure whether I would be able to get in here, but it seems like I am. Anyway, Lower City Apartments await, and uh, I took a look at the controls, and I now exactly know what the quick save button is. And we're going to be pressing it now. It is a bit weird how it quick saves. It goes into kind of like a small load screen or whatever, but uh, let's hope that I don't have to fight this sentry droid. Okay, I don't have to fight the sentry droid, but I do have to fight those black Volcars. Okay, let's see. I'm actually wondering whether the sentry droid is going to help me out here, but it's probably unlikely. Oh yeah, nice damage. Nice damage right there. Now, if we hit, we actually do a pretty significant amount, but if we don't, then uh, it becomes a little bit difficult. Ah, there's a nice fry grenade there. We're probably going to need that. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry to break up the party. Oh, yes. Am I? Not really. But yeah, Karth is really, really good at dealing with these low-tier units. He's not so good at dealing with the ones that are a little more armored, but he's, he's pretty good at dealing with these guys. So I'm pretty happy to have him by my side at the moment. Getting some more parts there. And what what is in this? Anything in this? Nah, nothing's in that. Alright, so we can continue to move onward. And it seems like most of the people in the lower city apartments here, at the very least the black Volcars, are very aggressive indeed. And, uh, oh, there's actually a lot of them here. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too bad. You can see here that we're actually hitting them quite nicely. This guy's going to be much more difficult because he has armor that's... Oh, okay, never mind. This guy's going to be much more difficult because he has armor. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I was like, ah, oh, yes, this one's going to be the one that is going to have our number. But no, no, we're actually dealing some nice damage here. Very surprising, actually. Anyway, let's see if I can loot him. What's he, what's he going to, ooh, an energy shield, a heavy blaster. Nice. Okay, some actually nice stuff here. And these guys also dropped something. A couple of credits. I'm not going to say no to a couple of credits. And uh, there's an energy shield that we can place on our right arm here if we want to use it. It has four out of five uses remaining. And uh, it absorbs damage. So this is probably going to be pretty good for us. I'm going to actually equip it. Is there anything else that I can equip here? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. What does this actually do? Oh, this gives me plus one constitution. All right, that's pretty good. And is there anything else that I want to put on here? Ah, yes. I do want to switch out maybe one of Karth's weapons. Because I'm not entirely sure whether he can use the heavy blaster, which we just gained. That's actually worse than his weapon. Interesting. Wow. Okay, I was unaware of that. Okay, so he's probably going to have a better time using the blaster pistol than the heavy blaster? No, no. This is actually an upgrade in that regard. Okay, fantastic. So now he's got an upgrade. I did mention, I think I did mention, by the way, that I did go to that merchant that sold us the dual-bladed weapon, and I also bought a military suit for me, and then I gave Karth my old combat suit, because he's wearing, he was wearing his absolutely awful clothing, and uh, now he's not, obviously. Now he's wearing a much better thing, so I'm pretty happy about that upgrade. Is there anything else here, though? Ah, supplies! Two more med packs, thank you very much. Gonna need those, thank you. Alright, so let us continue to move on and uh, explore the lower city apartments. Everything here looks very dilapidated, of course. Oh. This is Black Volcar Turf. You'll pay for this. Oh. oh, okay, well, that was all he had to say. Let's do it. He's probably going to die very quickly, right? I mean, you'd think he would die very quickly. I'm actually not using Flurry on purpose at the moment because I've read a little bit about Flurry on the actual ability itself. And let's just say that if you're not 100% that you're going to hit with Flurry, it's pretty bad to use it immediately in a fight because it then reduces your defense. It also reduces your attack by a little bit. So, yes, that's, that's the main reason. All right, so what's this? Okay, I'm going to assume that I should not interact with this security crate right now because it's more than likely 
going to kill me in some way. Okay, so this guy actually did have some remains uh, credits. So, okay, well, that's that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to quick save right here because I have a feeling that we're going to need to do something specific. Uh -huh. And we're going to just use a med pack on Karth here just to get him back right. up to full HP. And we're going to interact with the console. The Twisted Rancor Trio. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So we are going to need to obviously use the book or read it or something. Where Where is it now? It's going to be here somewhere. There it is. All right. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. A work in progress. The brains behind the group, manager Gilthos Oxaris, founded the trio to earn a date with the young singer named Elinda. The ploy worked and Elinda became the first member of the band. Gilthos scrambled to find musicians to back her and signed a bith named Uya to be the lead musician. Alright, so obviously these these all have names. So let me just actually see. There's, there's Uya right there. There's Elinda. Photo... Uji. Uh, okay, so I assume what I'm going to need to do is refer to this in order, I guess. So is Gilthos Oxaris actually mentioned here? It's unlikely. Let's actually just see whether that's the case. I'm, I'm just making sure here. I don't think he is. No, he's not. So Elinda is the first thing mentioned. So I suppose... We should select that. There we go. Okay, so there's Elinda. And then the next one is Uya, right? There you go. And okay, so now now we should probably take a look and see what the rest is. Right. Uh, soon after that, he signed Uya's brother Uji to complete the trio. And then Lupa. Okay, so Uji... And then Lupa. Okay, so where where is that? There's Uji. Okay, and Lupa. There's Lupa. All right, all right. We're getting there. We are getting there. And what else do we have now? Uh, okay, the the band struggled at first. Elinda was a fantastic singer, but Uya wasn't much of a wasn't much of a musician, so he got fired. Of course, this didn't go over well with Uya's brother, and Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another musician named Fodo, who joined to replace Uji. Mm hmm. Okay. Davik Kang. Aha. Okay. So yes. So Fodo. So then we should then we should click on Fodo, and then the last one, I assume is going to be Ashanda. So I'm just going to read the rest just for interest's sake, and then we'll see what's going on here. All right. So Davik asked Gilthos to bring his group in for a command performance. Gilthos agreed, realizing this could be the band's big break. Unfortunately, Elinda had heard certain unsubstantiated rumors about Davik Kang and his connections to the exchange. Fearing for her life, she refused to go to his estate to perform. Many felt that without Elinda singing, the band would crumble. But Gilthos came up with a brilliant plan to save the group by hiring Elinda's sister, Ashana, as the new lead singer on the eve of their scheduled appearance at Davik's estate. Gilthos knew he was taking a risk. If Ashana couldn't perform at Elinda's level, Davik's infamous temper could have dire consequences for the entire, entire band. However... If Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik was likely to sign the band to a big-time touring contract. It was a risk, but the Twisted Rancor trio was founded on guts and glory. There are no further entries. Alright, so let's select Ashana, and... There you go, okay, and then it opened. Fantastic, okay, so now I should be able to get whatever is inside... Ooh, Echani Fiber Armor and 50 credits. Oh, now that is nice. That is nice. Okay, so let's actually just take a quick look here. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Okay, so it actually has a special trait about it as well that it is capable to be upgraded. I'm actually going to wear this. Even though it is a little bit less defense, I think it's worth it. And I'm just going to leave the combat suit on Karth. I think that's that should be fine for him. Yes. All right. Well, that was that was very very interesting indeed for a 
low-level scout to be harboring such a complex puzzle. That's interesting. Okay, so let's have a look here. I have my med packs at the ready, and oh, hello there. Apparently, they've decided to pursue us this time around. Okay, well, let's let's take him out. He should be pretty easy to eliminate. There we go. Not not too bad. Does he have anything on him? It takes a while for loot to appear. I found. So, I'm not entirely sure if it is going to appear. Nah, it's probably not going to appear on that guy. Alright, so we're just going to bash this down because you never know if someone could be in trouble. Are we going to bash it down? Oh yeah, it, it seems like we are. Because I actually thought to myself, it might take a little bit too long. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. Ah. Uh, oh, this is metric. Okay. Yes, this is exactly the reason why we want to bash down doors. Because you never know what you're going to find. Alright, so what are you doing in here? Nah, I'm here to rob the place. Just sit down, shut up, and you won't get hurt. Nah, we're just going to collect the bounty on his head. I knew one of Devic's scum would find me eventually, but if I die, at least I'll have a clear conscience. I wonder, can you say the same? Clear conscience? What are you talking about? My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Taris away for life, but Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. Maybe there's some way I could help you out of this mess. Yes. I don't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. Hmm, maybe you could turn the tables, you know, have Davik eliminated. Maybe you could fake your own death. How about faking his own death? Why not? I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan of how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. Well, tell me your plan, and maybe I can help you. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's no body found at the scene. If it looks like I died in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. If I had an accomplice go back and tell Davik that they were the one who set off the explosion to eliminate me, I think I'd be home free. I have some demolitions experience from my own days in the exchange, so I could set it all up, but I'd need to get my hands on a permacrate detonator, which we just so... Uh, we just so, uh, mm, yeah, we have it. Uh -huh. That's that's pretty good. Okay, so, yeah, I have one right here. Go on, take it. Let me see. Yes, this should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. Okay, the time is set. Now let's get out of here before it blows. That was quite the blast. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in on your head. Look, I'm not a man for long goodbyes, but I just want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man. But now I won't have to worry about any more bounty hunters coming after me. So good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering the streets. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we helped him out. And, well, we actually did a pretty decent job. We got 480 experience for that. And uh, that, that was, that was i got to say, pretty nice. Okay, so we are... Wait a minute, what, what, what's, what's actually going on here? Why can I not use my... What? I, I can't... I can't turn? I can't turn my character? Are you serious right now? Okay, wait a minute, let me... Okay, did, did that... Did, did that make any... Okay, I have no idea what's going on right now, but apparently I cannot move... Let me... Uh -huh. No, I, I... I don't know, I don't know what's going on, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to save him. Um, maybe reload or something? Alright, so we are back. And uh, yeah, basically I just had to restart the game. And uh, I think enabling VSync actually has something to do with it. So if anyone's having that kind of issue, then enabling VSync, restarting the game should fix it. I think there's also a bit of an issue with turning off combat. What is it? Combat movement? I think combat movement is also a bit of an issue. Anyway, we're here in Karth Skills and we're going to improve... His treat injury skill, and that will be that. And now what about his feats? Well, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know about his arms either. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, okay. So let's see. What are we going to do here? Mm, do we want to go for toughness? Dueling? 
Nah, he's not using, he's, he's using dual wield, so let's have a look here. Power attack, power blast, maybe we want to give him an additional level in power blast. That's going to give him plus 8 to damage on the next blast or missile attack, but the attack is made at a penalty of minus 3 to hit. Hmm, I don't know, I think that's not great. Seems like most things are not going to be extremely useful. At least at the moment. I mean, he's he, he can wear heavy armor. That's pretty crazy. All right. I guess we'll, we'll go for... Should we go for rapid shot? Oh, I really have no idea whether... Sniper shot? Wait a minute. This feat doubles the critical range of ranged attacks. If the attack hits, the target is also stunned for six seconds. Sniper shot works with ranged weapons only. I actually have no... What's recommended? Rapid shot is recommended. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense, considering. Improved rapid shot. Let's just go with that then, I guess. You've selected all your available feats for this level. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. I thought we already had level one. So let's just do that. Why not? I, I guess rapid shot will be fine for him. It's basically like, like flurry, I suppose, for sure. me. So I, I guess that's fine. Anyway, let us now leave. Wait, did I open this door before? I didn't because I had a fight. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's deal with this last fellow and obviously loot the footlocker and everything. That was easy enough. Is there anything in here? No, there's nothing in there. Is there anything in there? No, there's nothing in there either. All right, so let's just loot this footlocker. Is there anything here? Oh, yes, a nice computer spike. I have a feeling we're probably going to be using our computer skills reasonably soon. I seem to remember that there's a whole bunch of computer-based stuff that we're going to be doing. Hmm. Not in the not too distant future, I guess. And uh, yeah, okay, so we're now not going to go over there, even though there's a toilet corpse. We are going to get in there soon. We're just going to go in this direction instead. And uh, yeah, I did make a brief stopover in the other cantina, by the way, and Bendak Star Starkiller was there. I didn't speak to him or anything, but I can imagine that we're going to be fighting him in the arena if we get to the final round. That's probably what's going to happen. And now I'm just going to travel along here and see what's going on. Ah, okay, so we've got some black Volcars. I'm going to save once again. That's a quick save. And we're going to go in here. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Volcars. Ah, oh, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Kandaras. We didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cat. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Oh, that's some intimidation right there, if ever I saw it. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Oh, I see. A little bit of infighting, perhaps. Anyway, let's uh, let's ask him who he is. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Oh, oh, and then he just ends the conversation. Of course he does, of course. Okay, well, yeah, I'll just let you uh, I'll let you get on with your job. I mean, he's gone, he's gone, he's not listening. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on and uh, see if we can eliminate any more black Volcars. Ah, there we go, we got a couple more here, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna try and save a couple of my grenades as well, because I, I think we're probably gonna need them when we get down into the sewers. I seem to remember there's some hard enemies down there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to eliminate this last fellow. There we go. And we'll take a med pack. Uh, actually, isn't there an easier way of healing my my character? I, I seem to remember that there's an easier way of doing that. But maybe I, oh, I've, I've completely forgotten what it is. Great. Uh, isn't it just like pressing R or something? Yes, what's on your mind? 
It's not, it, okay, never mind. It's not pressing R, but apparently, Karth wants to talk to me. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. What, he doesn't want to trust us? He's, he, we're literally fighting like back to back here. And he doesn't want to trust us in a hostile environment. Not built that way, that sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people that, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. So you want some guarantee that I won't betray you? Well, I'm starting to get pretty tired of that. <laughs> I'm starting to get pretty tired of that attitude, yeah, kind of. Anyway, so you want some guarantee that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of trusting anyone. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. I don't need someone around who doesn't trust me. And I don't need all these questions. What I do need is to try and save the galaxy. That's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Alright, yeah, that's absolutely fine with me, but uh, he's, he's, got some, he's got some issues. He does have some issues. Okay, so these are blaster turrets over here. I am pretty sure we do not want to get close to that. So we're probably going to move this way instead. You can use the rapid transit system to return to your base. On the map screen, you will see a button that says R. Ah, return to hideout. Okay, press this button to instantly transport. Okay, so while in this, pressing you... Ah, that's amazing. Okay, so I think that's actually the thing that I was talking about where you can actually go back to your hideout and you can restore your HP for free without having to use your med pack. So I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we've already gone into the lower city apartments. I don't need to go in there any further. Although Candorus just went in there. So maybe we want to check that out? Nah, probably not. What we do want to check out, however, is the hidden back base. And we're going to be doing that in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.